Hey there, Dominic here with a short introduction to Edge Extrude, Edge Extend and Edge Bevel, found of course on the Edge tab. Let me make a selection of edges, I'm going to select this one and this one and press Shift G. Shift G selects components in between, so you find that on Select Menu, Between, Shift G shortcut. You can also do this with vertices. For instance, select the vertex there and there, press Shift-G, it selects them in between. Or with polygons, Shift-G, and also very useful with polygons, you can do this, select for instance this one and this one, and now when I press Shift-G, you see it selects all of these polygons. Very useful, again one of those little gems in Modo that is often, often overlooked. Going back uh, to my original selection, Shift-G to select in between, select Extrude, click in the viewport and now I can extrude those edges like that and with red handle I can give it a width and of course Shift-click in the viewport reactivates the tool and I can give it another extrusion and with Use Material when I check this I can specify that for this extrusion I will have used a certain material. I surely never use it like that, but you can if you have to. Grab the tool, make another selection, Shift-G to select them in between. Now the Extend tool, shortcut Z. Click in the viewport. First going to reset the tool. This is my default. So by default with Edge Extend you get Transform handles. So you see I have made an extrusion. An extension I mean. Notice the difference with extrusion. My polygons were double, as you, if you will, and with the selection I've made on this cube with extension, you see they are single polygons. So extend. Um, I can also make visible rotate handles and scale handles like that. Very useful. So then I can scale. Um, and rotate at the same time, like that. Um, and I can also make my plane widget visible in their move, and when they are set to move, I get move widgets when they are set to scale. When I click and drag those circular widgets, it scales. So, pretty straightforward, like that. I'm going to drop the tool. Drop the selection, make a new selection, Shift G to select in between, and now bevel, click in the viewport, click and drag, and it bevels. You first I'm going to reset the tool. You have a mode set inset or width. With inset, it's the actual distance from the original. So with inset value is the actual distance from the original. It's actually more visible if I give it a round level. So for instance I give it a round level of 2. You see now the inset is the, val the, the, va the value of inset is the actual distance. When I set it to width, it's the actual width of the extrusion. So now this width is 34 millimeters. So inset or actual width. And another useful feature over here, sharp corner. So let's make a polygon selection. I'm going to press B for bevel, click, drag the bevel out, select these edges, shift double click, shift double click and shift double click, press B for bevel, click in the viewport, going to click and drag, going to set my round level to 1. And now over here you see, by default I get this three-sided polygons over here, but when I set the bevel, the edge bevel to sharp corner, now you see it's just a line, which is often what you want, and with setting the sharp corner to on, you don't have to do that additional cleanup like that, and now all of this is all quads. So short introduction to edge extrude, edge extend, and edge bevel. Hope you found it useful. This was Dominic. Bye for now.